Hello guys and welcome to the Hype Productions. In this video, we are going to create acrylic columns. Uh, you can call this pillar in 3D Studio Max. So let's get it started. First of all, I have a Adobe Illustrator and I have a simple image in the Adobe Illustrator. You can see there's kind of a designs on it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna select my pen tool and I'm going to start uh, tracing these all lines. Uh, so I'm gonna start by clicking here and making like that and as well here is some kind of a designs I have created. So So yes, we have this created this beautiful shapes, beautiful lines as a stroke. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take it here and uh, after that, uh, I'm going to select all of them. Just fill their color like black. Okay. And uh, I'm going to delete these extra and just insert in the canvas after that i will have to check them that everything is perfect so i'm gonna save this and after saving uh, just giving the name is pillar and uh, select version 8 because 8 version always match with 3ds max export and import elements uh, i'm gonna save this and uh, now we'll go to the 3d studio max here i have a 3d studio max i'm going to import my file which is uh, on my desktop name is pillar ai so now <clears throat> it looks very cool i'm going to scale at the size and uh, after that i'm just going to create on vertical position and after giving vertical position I'm going to select my rectangle and I will draw a rectangle here and just give them a size suppose 8 feet and 1 feet and I'm going to scale up the size of these design according to my dimensions 8 upon I'm sorry 1 upon 1 and 8 feet means 1 feet width and 8 feet height make them center so they are placing on the center so now my next step is this I'm going to match their positions like this when you will match their position like this so what am I going to do I'm gonna apply my modifier is called extrude modifier find out extrude and it can be extruded in the 3d dimensions three dimensions so that's perfect but unfortunately we have to create some pillars or acrylic corners so First of all, I will attach my this design from this rectangle. When you will do this, so you can find out this design, which looks cool, which looks good. Perfect. So here, what am I going to do? I'm gonna, definitely we need to create pillar. So one by one feet, uh, according to one by one feet, I'm going to adjust my design in the boundaries of it rotation duplicate by holding shift key and set here once again rotate set here and the last one like this 
last one duplicate by holding shift key and rotate them here and place it on the behind on the back side on the behind okay so now it's looking uh, cool design is perfect so I just need to place this one here was one or two and height will be 0 0.1 I'm sorry uh, one inch we need to increase some amount 104 that means one feet four inch and two inch height now it looks uh, good okay one by one feet and I'm gonna cover the top of this so I have covered these to top again I'm gonna take a uh, duplicate and uh, just give them four inch height like this and also duplicate 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 that means four inch width and four inch height and it will place in the boundaries I'm sorry in the center of this uh, pillar which you used to create the base of it suppose uh, six inch okay five inch and it is placed something like this so according to the uh, modeling perspective my model is complete I'm gonna assign the material uh, and uh, for that purpose I just need to go for the VRA material and uh, after that I'm going to assign VRA material something like uh, I'm going to create some golden shape so I have this plain texture uh, like this and I'm going to go to the reflection increase reflection 160 160 160 and also remove the check from the Fresnel 0.9 closeness after that I'm gonna go to the light find out VRA light and I will assign a light from the top inside of it perfect and I'm gonna decrease increase the segments multiply 60% that means it can glow the light properly and duplicate the light as well from down side that means from the top and from the down so here I have this pillar I'm going to duplicate this pillar and uh, we'll give some uh, variations uh, variation like uh, I'm gonna draw a box and I'm going to fix this box inside of this uh, wall and after that I'm going to take another duplicate and I will place this wall like before duplicate and and duplicate so why am I going to do I'm going to go make glowing pillars that's why I'm going to go to the Vire material editor once again find out Vire two-sided material and assign simple video material in it color it's up to you whatever you want to give white or yellow or anything just assign them select all of them and assign them so after that it's going to be glowing pillar all right take the box I'm going to assign this box inside of it because I need to create light in it so I'm gonna assign VD editable poly and after that give them mesh light click the mesh light in the center of this object and after that go to the mesh light mesh light pick mesh and pick this box so after that this box has become the light that's perfect uh, I think uh, I think I can create some more variation so I'm gonna take some camera 
first here's how I'm gonna set here so I think uh, we should take uh, group and after that uh, I need to create another duplicate by holding shift key I think uh, we have uh, to assign VRA materials again and this time I'm going to take white VRA material or maybe some kind of reflective it's going to be good I'm going to take another duplicate of this glowing pillar and uh, just select these uh, modules except the lights accept them just to select the modules and assign another video material with uh, having a black color reflective material so let me see what can be the render okay so I'm going to create a cylinder for creating some studio light setup so just arrange the setup like this perfect and I'm going to increase the height and finish their segments convert them into poly delete the top and after that uh, I need to give edges from top to bottom for holding details two edges top and bottom and between the center just insert there yes like this because these uh, kind of uh, shapes have to hold the edges apply mesh smooth so now it is becoming smooth I'm gonna apply shell modifier for creating them depth so it is depthful smoothy object after that I'm gonna go to the VRA material once again go to the VRA material and uh, assign simple dark color with some reflective materials 70 70 70 and give some glossiness 0 0.8 percent so now the last step is to create VRA light from the top and I'm going to apply this VRA light from the top here like this give them invisible and effect reflection move on checkout 10% multiply so now let's see the final render and uh, this time I hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial so please subscribe my channel press the bell icon I hope we'll meet again thank you so much